Hi everybody, my name is Jackson Derry and welcome back to the Deprimination. So, last episode we found all the clues and now we need to go down here where there's creepy stuff. Ugh, I do not like it. Uh, and I do actually kind of know what's down here and it's not funny times and things. I probably will use my shotgun down here. It's quite useful, I actually found out. Ah, here we go. <coughs> Die, boxers. Uh, I already... Can I get some mid kits instead? Ah, there we go. Sweet. Ah, yes, so... Ah, nothing. Nothing. Oh, Christ. Crying out loud. Yes, exactly. This thing again. But I think she's easier to kill the second time. Not entirely sure, but... When I played it, it was kinda easier to kill her here the second time. Ah! Win! I'm nowhere. There we go. Much easier this time. And where did the music go? It's kind of annoying the music is disappearing all the time. Uh, right, there's one more. Can actually remember how many there is. Doesn't matter that much either, but just need like three shots with a shotgun. Anyway, can't hit shit, bro. Oh, sister, or whatever you want to be called. There we go, three shots. And, ah oh yeah, there is one. Ah, oh, goddammit. I actually thought that was the only one more. That sound though. Hello. God. Dick. Die. And it wait like a boss. Touching like a boss. Get visible, you dick. Ooh, a mid kit. And medium size on one. Well, uh, what more here? I can't. Oh, okay, that was not that one though. Oh, so you didn't die. Well, you have to. It's kind of funny they can't break these in one shot. A hot dog. In a freaking box on the ground. Yeah, sure, you eat that. I will not give you AIDS and cancer and seven types of LSDs uh, and uh, large uh, damn oh wait I can put it in my god damn uh, I almost forgot I can put it in my storage for later use I hope I think maybe okay so I actually think we are done down here Are we? Maybe? Ah, yeah, we are. Let's fast have a shave because need to look good. And I'm FBI, so don't question why. Totally normally on a case in some evil demonic world, and then sometime a man needs a shave. 
Ah, uh, got. Why would it even be a no? In most cases, you want to save when you go to such thing, phone, save point. Ah, uh, and that's a lock. Of course, it's locked. Uh. Well, screw it. I have a machine gun. Good enough, I guess. Ah, uh, and now it's kind of annoying. There is no music. Well, not exactly annoying, but kind of sad. Oh, winner! Actually, I don't think I've seen this one. Oh, this. Was it here I left off? Hmm? Ah, it wasn't here, I hmm. think. Hmm. Oh, it wasn't here. I actually got to see this. It was a bit later, I. Huh? Oh, yeah, right. Uh, guess. Who's up there? Oh, that's so sad. Agent Morgan, where are you? Answer me! Open it! Open it! Open Kinda wonder... Am I actually the murderer in this case? I mean, all these... Demonic zombies things and all. I don't know. I can't really tell. George, call for assistance with the body. Wait! She's still alive. Uh. Diane, don't move. Don't move her hands and stay still. Guess what is happening in any George, second now? It's no good. It won't budge. Emily, stand back. I'm so strong. Use all the muscles you don't have. Oh, you probably have. What? Kind of scary. There's not enough time. But then again, if he is the psychopathic killer, why would he be so desperate to save them? I mean, look at that, for instance. That might or could as well kill him. Epic slow motion of destiny. Uh, is she dead? Did she die? Probably. Maybe. Maybe not. Who knows? I do. <laughs> oh, that shirt right there. A jacket. My hat. Hoot. Thomas, call an ambulance. Uh, what? Uh, what? Just do it already. Agent York, George, are you okay? Uh, yes, I'm okay. I think I'm too old to be an acrobat, though. Diane looks okay, too. She should be able to tell us who did this to her. God, I yes. hope so. And but you, George. Quite a catch. I'm impressed. <laughs> hmm? George? What? Uh. Oh, I all forgot about that. Diane. Oh, 
sorry for him in awe who could have every woman will find her sorry about being by your grave. Oh yeah, it's probably because I said blood. I'm not sure actually because it's kind of confusing. I think it's on right now. But I don't know if it needs to be off to actually see blood. But it will change it with colored weird things. Diane! Stop right there, Nick. You're under arrest for the attempted murder of Diane Ames. Yes, you are. Back off! Don't touch me! God damn, you screwed up again, George. Always have to be something with you. Diane, no! No! What the hell? That is also kind of weird. So I didn't like her, but she's not the killer, I think. I'm kind of suspicious with Olivia right now, because... Huh. Maybe she was there to kill her. I requested in the scene in yeah. the... <laughs> Thomas, kind of too late now. We'll need a body bag too. Uh, so disturbing. <laughs> Nick, quiet. Can you what? hear that? Hmm? Oh, yeah, right. I remember. Remember that? Or him? <laughs> it's Willie! Hmm. I think he wants us to follow him. Shall we follow Zack? Well, I think that may actually be a good idea. Okay, this is actually where I haven't got much further I think I saved here and didn't go any further from here yes I did no I didn't yes it's here I didn't get any further from here so all now is new to me and open God damn it, do you have to walk this slow or uh, take you that good time or something? Uh, can you walk faster? Cute little dog. Faster, please. Of course, take the long way around. Hey, let's go that way then. But because oh, we actually couldn't get that way. No mind then. Oh, am I outside in the rain? And I think I made rain inside. It kind of seems like it does right now, but I don't.
Huh, we did. No, can't get in there either. Guess I just have to play his game. Silly dog. Stealing all my bones and evidence and stuff. God damn it, make up your mind already. How I think about it, that dog actually seems kind of thin. You can see the rips on him. Okay, then, you need to feed your dog. Probably. Don't know. Bit thin, maybe. Okay, let's go in here then. Anything? Probably a crash of the game. No, it didn't crash. Yay! Uh, okay, so. Open. Okay, uh, living area kind of thing. Interesting. It's kind of funny that I just couldn't follow the blood trail myself because isn't that the most obvious thing to do? I guess not. That's just my opinion, right? Oh, there's something in here. Okay, that's enough. Ugh, blood. Is there anything I should check out in here, maybe? Ooh, you're so handsome. And beautiful, and look at that. Eye of yours. I don't even know. Holy, you okay? Go sleep in the bed. Oh! A sapling. Kazen? Willie, are you out there? Kazen? Kazen? What the hell is Kazen doing, doing in here? there? Yep, exactly. York, is that you? Thank God. I can't get this door open. Can you unlock it from your side? Jason, stand away from the door. It's kind of suspicious. I mean, why would he be here? <laughs> ah, that cheek of his. <sighs> Where's Diane? And what are you doing here? I was well... going to ask you the same thing. Well. Let's just say I have my reasons, you know, pri private reasons. I don't really have to tell you, do I? Actually, you do. Diane just died a moment ago. What? Yep, and you are you're now... You're just a key witness now. <laughs> you're now a suspect. And you need to tell me exactly what you were doing here. Well, I just... I just came here to talk with Diane. To have a conversation. And I suppose uh... that kiss mark on your cheek is from your conversation. <laughs> this was just a spur of the moment thing. Right. Which is exactly what killed Diane. <laughs> that kid okay, locked up. Okay, I came here to be with Diane. You happy now? We've been together before, a, a, a couple times. It's one of the reasons why I like coming to this town, see? Huh. This time is no different. I, I I bumped into her in a bar in Seattle. I had some some holiday coming up. Well, so so I just took it and I drove her back here. Interesting. I have a wife, you know, but but we've been separated for a while. We're going through a divorce right now, and I don't want her lawyer finding out. Hmm. Anyway, how could I kill Diane if I was in a room locked from the outside? 
Well, a two point, hours ago, but... me and Diane, we were taking it easy, drinking upstairs. We were, you know, enjoying ourselves. Then Nick had to show up. Well, then Diane had a sudden change of heart. She locked me up in here. That's kind of suspicious. I mean, I've just I been would... here, waiting for her to come back, of course, but but she didn't. I heard footsteps a couple of times, but they just passed by. Well, then I couldn't that wait is... anymore, so I let Willie here out through the window. There's something weird. Wait, what window? Then you showed up instead of Diane. Wait, what window? If he's down there, isn't that thy basement? Well, there are no windows where I went around. Zach, Diane has become the third victim of our killer. And nada from questioning Nick. Nothing. Got no new leads from questioning Nick. Hmm. He's taken the death of Diane really badly. In shock, the works. He claims to have liked talking with her about art. But he also had a problem with her views about men. He says that they argued, but not at a level that would lead to a murder. They were about to head out to the bar again together. But while he was waiting for Diane, someone knocked him out cold. He has no idea who it was either. Of course, Casey if looks like a prime suspect. Me? But that door was locked from the outside. There yeah, was no other way still... in or out of that room. How did Which Willie means get there out? is no evidence of his involvement at this time. Now he this is kind of confusing. When... The footsteps How... he heard outside the room were not heels, but a man's boots. And Nick was wearing boots. But now that Diane's uh. dead, no one can back up Nick's statement. Which is why we have Nick in custody and have to let Kaysen go free. Ha. It seemed like the only option, at least for now. One more thing, Zach. George looked terribly depressed. I guess this case is really getting to him. He's feeling responsible for the deaths of Becky and Diane. Take his rules and confidence away from him? I wonder what's left. Well, of course, he'd Can still I... have muscle. <laughs> It's kind of understandable, I would assume. I mean, it is his town after all. Oh well, he's the big guy in town, what you want to call it. And save. Ooh, so new chapter now. Yay! I think. Don't crash. Be nice game. Don't die on me. Ah, great. Zach, let's get back to the hotel. First Anna, then Becky, now Diane. I'm not looking forward to writing this investigation report. Agent Morgan. Yeah, true. York. Do you have a moment? <laughs> what is it, George? There's something I'd like to talk to you about. Do you have any time later? Can't we just do it here? If possible, I'd like to go to a bar. Of course, we don't really have to. A bar? Huh. Now that sounds like a good idea. Well... Zach, what do you think? We can go drinking with George, or turn him down and head back to the hotel. Now, I don't like the idea of drinking the sorrow away, but I guess... Why not? There's something you want to talk to me about, and George is kind of mysterious so George, far. That scar on your cheek. Where did you get it? This? Didn't I tell you? Well, it's not from work. I got it when I was a kid. A childhood injury. <sighs> tree climbing? I used to get a few scrapes myself climbing the big tree in our backyard. I used to climb it a lot. And fall out of it a lot. <laughs> this wasn't anything like that, though. It was my mother. She did it. Oh. I'm sorry, George. Don't worry. It's I ancient history. Sad. The world is flooded with unreasonable violence. The strong overpower the weak, adults over children, men over women, and criminals over their victims. I guess that's kind of true, but still doesn't change the fact that it's kind of... Uh. 
I have no memories of my father. He left before I knew him. My mother would hit me every time I asked why. And it didn't stop there. If I ate too slow, left my shoes scattered around, TV volume too loud, she found reasons to hit me. Hit me bad. Oh. The worst was what she called the tree punishment. She'd whip my back with these thin tree branches like a whip. Ugh. Ah, oh, do I really have to see that? So that's why his back was kind of messed up. punishment was definitely the worst, I tell you. Just hearing those words used uh. to make me shiver and want to pass out. And that's why I didn't want to show you those scars on my back. Uh, Every time after the tree punishment, she'd always say the same thing. This is hurting the tree more than it is hurting you. What? And me. Being a naive, dumb kid, I believed her. I went to the woods to apologize to the trees. It's actually just so messed up. Why would anyone do that to a child? I kept asking myself, why is she hurting me this way? I thought long and hard about it. In the end, I just figured I'm weaker than her. That's why. Well, it's the law of mother nature at work. Strong eat the Maybe weak. she had problems. But now you have the power to protect the weak. That's right. Perhaps I should thank my mother for guiding me into this line of work. Hmm. York. Bro, I've been man. An fool, haven't I? And if it weren't for me. Both Becky and Diane would still be alive. Oh. I could have saved them both. You, you know, kind of so it's like they died because of me. You're out of your mind. Oh. I invited you to this bar for a drink. But I guess this bar is my confession chamber. And I wanted you to listen. And to tell you. Well, you must already hate me causing all these problems not following your orders york well you're kind of sorry i'll follow your orders from now on you'll have my total cooperation huh george you've been as cooperative as you can be you even invited an fbi guy to a bar for drinks you've done a good job protecting this town and the folks here respect you for that nobody can blame you for anything thanks I do feel a little better. Ah, all those sweet bonding moments. Uh, so, talk? Since we're here, why don't you talk to a few other people? I'll just finish off my drink. Interesting. Let me know before you leave, okay? Okay, will do, but I think I will save it now, and then I'll continue on in the next episode because I'm kind of what time now and since I played everything through now I will try to get back to regularly video length of 20 a bit more minutes maybe not because I don't want to play the game as long but mainly because I also want to have my time take my time with it instead of rushing through it but Replaying something you just had played because the game crashed or didn't work out, the save file got corrupt, whatever, is kinda annoying, but yeah, you get that drift, probably. Anyhow, I will call it now, thank you very much for watching, as always, take care, I'll see you all in the next video of whatever I make, so, bye!